Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In this video, I will introduce you to the retrofit. But before going ahead, why we are going to learn retrofit, we will try to understand what has been the journey so far in the web services and Android tutorial series. If you recall, we basically started with introduction of web services, where we understood how the web services work, what are the RESTful web services, and how they are accessed through REST client like Postman. And then we had brief look at how do you consume a web service. You using a simple thread but we pretty much realized that using a thread is not going to be a very efficient mechanism and that is when you started exploring the OK HTTP and in the last video we had a look at the completely refactored code using OK HTTP to carry out all the different RESTful APIs like POST, GET, DELETE and PUT. So after having the discussion so far now it is high time that we basically explore how to continue further but before continuing further with the retrofit we have to understand what are the problems with OK HTTP. This is the old code base and this is where we had written our request APIs. If you recall pretty much all the classes which extend app network request has the same code structure. If you pay attention there is a problem with our mechanism. The problem is there are certain limitations with OK HTTP that we are using. The first thing is you have to write the code to manage the request body. You have to basically write the code to parse the JSON response and finally you will have to write the code to manage the main thread and the network worker thread communication. So the main problem is there is a too much of code that is being written by the developer to manage the whole scenario. And that is where the retrofit comes into picture. If you have a look at the official documentation of the retrofit, it says that it is a type safe HTTP client for Android and Java. So you have to basically add this particular line implementation forms square up retrofit to retrofit then whatever the latest version that you have in the build gradle file to be able to utilize this particular library in your android application retrofit is actually built on top of ok http so if at all you are using retrofit you will of course have to add the ok http library also to your build gradle file now to be able to parse the request and response and to create the body of the API request, Retrofit uses something called as converters. There are various converters depending upon which particular library you use. You can use JSON, Jackson, Moshi, and if you are using XML, then you, there is something called as simple XML. So it is pretty much up to you to decide which particular converter that you want to use to do this serialization and deserialization between Java object and a JSON string. In this particular tutorial series, I will be using JSON converter, and to do that, you will have to add this particular line that is converter JSON then whatever the latest version that you might be using in your build gradle file and the last one is using something called as logging interceptor this is optional but basically what this library helps you to do is log api calls to the logcat it basically improves your overall efficiency when it comes to debugging the api integration logic so these are the lines that you will have to add in your build gradle file now let's continue to explore which are all the apis that you would be using in retrofit some of the common APIs that you would be using with Retrofit are of course OK HTTP client which you are already familiar with earlier and then you would be using something called as callback object as you would expect this is nothing but an interface using which you can make synchronous and asynchronous API calls. This has two callback methods one is on response and another one is on failure. On response is a callback for the successful response and on failure is the callback for the failed API call. And then after that you have an API called as retrofit. This basically allows you to use annotations like add, get, post, delete, put and many more to create a simple set of APIs representing different type of API calls that you might be having in your application. We will of course be having a very detailed look at it a bit later. The last optional is HTTP logging interceptor which is the part of logging interceptor library using which you can log log API call responses to the locket. So let's write some code using retrofit to successfully implement a API integration in an Android application. So let's get into a demo. 
So let's go through the code. In this case, we will be having a look at how to implement the API interface with the retrofit annotations. So as you can observe, I am going to implement a interface. Let me call it as API interface. And then I will create a method inside the interface. The name of the method is register author and body is the author. Author is a Java object which will be passed as a payload to the API's body. So that is why we are using an annotation called body. The return type is a call with author as the generic type. And we have not yet declared what type of request it would be, whether it is a get request, post request. So that can be done using another annotation called as post. And the argument to the post annotation is URL. And the URL is authors. So basically, when the whole request gets created, it would be base URL followed by slash authors slash. And we are done with the implementation of the interface for register author now we will go to the register dialog fragment where we had written quite a long code to carry out registration the first thing that we will do is get hold of the author object we have created it here after this we will have to write actual code to carry out retrofit api call once again we will be using ok http client so this part of the code you are already familiar with but other than that if at all you want to log api calls to the logcat you can use http interceptor so for that we will use something called as http logging interceptor so let me create a http logging interceptor and what level of logging you want that you can set so logging interceptor dot set level and we want the level to be of body it is a constant and then you have to set that logging level to the ok http client so what i can do is just before build add interceptor and pass the logging interceptor and that's it this is the only extra line of code that we have added because we intend to use http logging interceptor after this i will have to create an instance of retrofit let me create a retrofit object new retrofit dot builder and then we will have to set base url base url has been designed in get base url method of the rest apis and then you have to add the converter factory and in this case i had told earlier i will be using json converter factory dot create that will give me the converter factory and then i will have to set the client and in this case it is ok http client and then finally build so this will get me the retrofit object and after this i will have to create api interface api interface creation is pretty simple all i have to do is use this retrofit instance and then invoke create the class using which it needs to create that api interface so it would be api interface dot class and then create a call with author as the generic instance register author call api interface dot register author this is the method that is there as a part of this particular interface and then pass the author object that we have created earlier here this will go as the part of the request body and then now it is finally time to implement the call itself so it would be register author call dot nq and inside that we will be making a callback and it has got two methods on response and on failure and once again inside the on response and on failure we will be writing the same old code that is hide the progress bar so set visibility invisible and if you want to toast the message that the registration has been successful you can do that and then finally you can use if registration listener which is the callback that we have for the activity to handle that we will have to check whether if it is not equal to null then registration listener dot invoke the on registration success and pass whatever the response that we have got we have to pass that as the argument which would be a, a author object if you observe response dot body was returning me a author and then finally dismiss the dialog box and in the same way in the on failure we will once again set the progress bar visibility to invisible and then once again you can just toast the message whatever the throwable that you got here it will be a throwable object and dot 
get message so that will toast the error message and that's it we are pretty much done with the overall implementation as you can observe we did not write much code at all all we did is implement the interface tell what kind of request that it is doing provide the endpoint provide the body what it will be taking and what is the return type it is doing and we use this in the register dialog fragment to basically pass the author to the register author call and make the call so let us see whether this works fine so to understand what is happening let me put some breakpoints here let me click on the register and before i click on the register let me enable the debug mode and click on the register so this is the retrofit instantiation and then after that i am creating the register call and now let me proceed as you can see we got the response so it is a on response callback that is getting triggered and it is a registration success and response dot body contains the author so if you evaluate the expression now dot body it is returning me a author with author id and everything and that's it the registration was successful if you observe logcat you can actually see api calls that are happening and this is the final response that we had got so at least when you are doing the development make sure that you have the interceptor another thing that you should be aware is whatever the call all object that you will be using to make the actual callback this can be used only once you cannot use it again and again to make the call because if you try to reuse it then it will be a exception what do i mean by using it only once is let me make this as instance variable in the dialog and instead of initializing it every time i will check whether register author is null if it is null then only i will initialize it otherwise i intend to reuse the same register author call let me remove or comment out this dialog dismiss line and run the code so when i click on the register first time it works perfectly fine but when i click another time my application crashes the reason being this is not a fresh call so that's it in this particular discussion we will continue to explore the retrofit in a much more detailed manner in the next video so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye